earning another five dollars from Survey Junkie. Like two of the surveys, at least one, cut out on me like right near the end. Like it was a 45 point survey for like 15 minutes or 20 minutes or something. And I was like right near the end and it literally said, oh, the survey filled up or something. Like like two points, it gave me two points. I was bullshit. But I lucked out with like, um, the last one I did, I actually did get 140 points, which equates to a dollar and 40 cents. Even though like minimum you have to have five dollars and five dollar increments on um, Survey Junkie to get anything. I know it doesn't amount to a lot and it's seriously like, it is like insufferable. Like it's not even a joke. You know, it's nice to be able to, to make like money without having like a job and just doing like the survey stuff. But like at least this app, like I am, um, I'm not here just to badmouth it, but like bottom line is, is, is like I'm verified for it, but it takes like so much pain and effort just to get to like the first the first five dollar checkpoint or just the basic checkpoint you know what i mean in a lot of the surveys you have to go in and you have to get a you got to put the same information in every single time i mean it's like they don't the app in like the site it, they don't have a means of saying like putting in information like yes i'm white you know yes i'm male you know these these at least those two things at the very least are like you know, and even my age, it's going to be the same for a year. Those other two things are obviously going to be same, you know, are they going to be the same forever? I mean, in this day and age, I mean, technically I could, I could get like a sex change, but that's not going to happen, you know, but I'm always going to be male. I'm always going to be white. I mean, I'm pretty sure. I mean, I'm not like, this isn't like a Navin Johnson kind of situation here we're talking about, you know, it's just going to, it's what it's going to be. So why, why? Do I have to go back and put this information in every single time, you know? But it's not... I can't really blame Survey Junkie for it completely. Because it's like... Even if they allowed that in the settings... Like, it would come down to the, the surveys that are, are chosen. But then again, it's like... If there, was a, if there was an interface between Survey Junkie and, like, these people that... That they... Filter surveys through it themselves for what you know whatever but anyway it's just it's just a pain in the neck seriously for what it's worth it's just like it's like you really have to work for it and i mean like really work for it and it's like you could get disqualified for it for like anything you know so it's like it is just it's just over overly painful to get through it for for just the five dollars whatever and I did actually run into issues with not Survey Junkie, but trying to use the money for gas because I put it in a rewards program for a certain gas station. And like at one point it said that I couldn't do anything else with it. Like, like I had maximized my attempts at or whatever of like having gift cards. So I was screwed out of the $5 that I had like literally just put in that app. So um, recently when I found again and I got this I still haven't read much more into I've read like probably 50 pages um, I got that uh, at a thrift shop and I was like I had found it and I really wanted it because um, I love the series and um, side note like they had like a bunch of like the recent ones they had like a string of like six in the series of the most recent ones it's crazy like, all hardcover there but I got this for four dollars and 49 cents and I was like, I'll say I was desperate for it, you know. I would driven up to this thrift shop to get it, and um, I couldn't use like the digital Visa, so I ended up um, I had done tried Google Pay I think first, but then I used Google Wallet, which worked perfectly, and I was just overjoyed. I really earned that, you know what I mean. And even though I feel like a kind of like a dink going in getting like five dollars worth of gas for this thing because because I, I did it with google wallet but this is the second time i've done it and it keeps telling me i gotta go in the, i have to go and see the cashier i'm like why why can't i just do it out here you know like why i had stickers on my forehead one day because my uh, my niece put them on there but and then this the kid i left them on there and the kid at the <laughs> like one of the kids that worked there was just kind of like looking at me like 
like whatever i'm like whatever dude <laughs> you love me everybody loves me okay fucking whatever so it's like it makes it a little more awkward you know going in there but still it really it's not really a big deal it's just annoying because it's like seriously like just let me do it at the pump you know but yep i'm in the final like sort of final stages for a job position at a large retail store um not really what i ultimately wanted to do obviously but um i might be able to have a job that um doesn't really deal with people like and i just pick, pick orders and stuff like that like a fulfillment thing which would be fine for me it's just the start and it's not gonna be only job in the past i've always gotten like a job and i get lazy i'd be like you know but i gotta go home and kill the rest of the time doing nothing you know watching movies or uh you know and <laughs> stuff you know so it's like but no i've been applying to places like i said downtown and again i don't really want to i don't really it's, it's something about dealing with people just a lot of people i just don't want to do it i mean it's just because i don't want to deal with people being jerks for some reason i pretty much just meet nice people you know whatever i do i've overwhelmingly met nice people <laughs> but um still it's just like I don't know. I don't know if it's like I don't like meeting people that I'll never see again. Like I, I don't like that because it's like or that I have to like like seriously like at the same time like disassociate myself from people. It's like things like that I think that make it too much of an emotional like strain for me. You know, so I don't know. I don't know if those are the real core reasons, but I, I like I theorized, I hypothesized those. Maybe those are some of the reasons. You know, I also don't want to get stuck, you know, talking to people that I don't understand. Because then it's like, if I do something wrong, then it's going to come back on me. Or it's going to, on a lesser scale, probably look awkward. Still relevant, but probably lesser scale. Literally just look awkward. You know. Um, I was a host in the past. But in that in that sense, I was just like, having to deal with people when it got really busy. I'd never done that. Because I was just again, scared, or just would be too much for me mentally, I think, um, I've got been more open than that, I mean, that, that was pre-COVID, that was actually, like, like, the, 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 like, last job I had before COVID, you know, I had finished my other job, I had taken out my 401k, you know, I had gone to, to go to, my mom and I were going to see Tony Robbins in, in San Jose, and, uh, COVID came up in, like, that October, and I had, I had a, an obvious feeling, like, looking at it, like, this was going to become an issue. But I kind of held out, thinking, you know, things would just maybe just change, you know. And, you know, ultimately, we flew out there and kind of got to explore California. I went my my first plane plane ride, even though I wanted to go Amtrak, personally. But, I mean, I kind of ceded to her, conceded to her to, you know, take the plane. Because Amtrak also... Um, we weren't sure if I, I was, it was the scheduling thing. Like we want to make sure we were going to get there before the event started. And then ultimately it's like, I could have gone either way because it wouldn't have mattered because it was canceled anyway. So I honestly would have rather taken the Amtrak because that just seems so appealing to me to be able to like ride on the train and like get like a sleeper compartment and, you know, go to like the diner or whatever and, and stuff like that and meet people, you know, I mean that in that way, that would have been cool. Uh, the plane, you know, it's just shitty bathrooms. <laughs> this tiny bathroom, you know what I mean? Uh, unless you watch Father Ted, and it's like um, Flight into Terror, and it's like, uh, it's like, oh, it's, this is the first class bathroom. Do you have a first class ticket? I'm sorry. Sorry, then you'll have to use the, uh, I'm afraid you'll have to use the other one, whatever he said. Great show. Highly recommend it. It's free on like, Film Rise. Uh, it was free on Vo Voodoo in the past, I believe. But it's like free. I think like I'll say wherever you look for it, it's like free. Father Ted, fantastic show, <laughs> hilarious, classic. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, make the most of it. You know, it's first plane ride, like I said, got to see like out and see like the land moving uh, below us in the dark. I like I said, if I had to choose between the two of them, emotions aside, when it comes to like pleasing my mother or pleasing you know whoever I was with. You know, I would have taken the Amtrak because that would have been a lot more fun for me. Fulfilling. I've always wanted to do that. I mean, I can't say since when. Maybe it was since Silver Streak or 
or um, boost cannons or I don't know men in black mommy returns who knows <laughs> maybe they had something to do with it I don't know but I always wanted to do it it seemed really cool throw mama from the train just missed it <laughs> great movie too classic uh, so that's that. I'll leave you at that because it's just been a rambling almost 11 minute video. Got the real hardcores out there, you know, that that sweat to my videos and whatever. I mean, it's what it is. I'm in, in anticipation, not like exercise or something else. <laughs> I would hope not. I mean, my voice is soothing, not as soothing as Fraser Crane's, but gets the job done, I think. <gasps> Piles! Fight the sod fit to outfit him with a megaphone! That's classic show, too. That Tales from the Crypt, Twin Peaks. Love those shows. Hey, check them out, though. Okay, I'll catch you later.